He may be he who must not be named, just don't call him Ralph. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 Rafe Fiennes performances. Some jerk puked on the stairs and I slipped. I should sue. Number 10, Bernard Lafferty, Bernard and Doris. Kicking off our list is Fiennes' role as the self-destructive butler of the world's richest woman. In a tale loosely inspired by actual events, Fiennes masterfully plays a gay neurotic who is dealing with alcohol addiction. Meanwhile, he also forms an unlikely bond with his boss, the tobacco heiress, who comes to trust him with her billion dollar estate. Well then what do you want from me? Well, i take care of you. Number 9. Harry Waters in Bruges In this dark comedy crime film, Fiennes plays a gangster with principles. After sending two hitmen to carry out a job in Bruges, he instructs one to kill the other, before he himself is forced to finish the job. This role provides Fines with incredible lines I'm sorry for calling you an inanimate object. I was upset. and lets him play a likable, albeit grumpy villain who refuses to hold a shootout around a pregnant lady. Number 8. Ignac Sonnenschein, Adam Soares, Ivan Soares, Sunshine this epic historical drama has Fiennes playing three different generations of men within a Jewish family during the lead-up to World War II. Fiennes transitions from a successful lawyer to his son, who converts to Catholicism, to his son, who is forced to witness his father die in a concentration camp. Each role reveals new and more interesting emotions for the actor, including an insatiable lust for revenge. I make a promise here at your graveside to do everything in my power to punish those who have turned ideals into crimes. Number 7. Justin Quayle, The Constant Gardener In one of his most subtle and most exciting screen performances, Fiennes plays a British diplomat whose outspoken humanitarian wife is brutally murdered. On a mission to uncover the truth behind her death, he travels to three continents to uproot a conspiracy involving big business. Romantic flashbacks aside, we get to see Fiennes transform from an unimposing pacifist to an unstoppable force. The Please. child's life! There are no rules to cover that! Number 6. Charles Van Doren Quiz Show. Set in the late 1950s, this film is centered on a quiz show that encourages its annoying champ to take a dive. Fines walks in as the handsome and charming college professor to replace him as the star. But soon, he begins to struggle with his ethics when he has fed the questions in advance. I was involved, deeply involved in a deception. I have deceived my friends. Fines gives a beautiful performance in this morality tale that resonates far beyond the era in which it is set. Number 5. The Tooth Fairy, Francis Dollarhide, Red Dragon In this prequel to Silence of the Lambs, Fines plays a schizophrenic who kills during the full moon as a result of his alternate personality called the Great Red Dragon. Your son is about to change. His incredibly haunting performance in this film even rivals that of Sir Anthony Hopkins and Hannibal Lecter. Number 4. Lenny Nero, Strange Days Fines plays a former cop turned sleazy hustler and black market dealer in this cult favorite role. He may be selling illegal bootleg recordings of people's experiences, but this cyberpunk morality tale features the actor in the role of an anti-hero with ethics. Faith! No more games, whatever you're hiding, whatever's going on, you have to get out of here now. Please, come with me right now. Fines also gives us a pretty convincing American accent and entertaining gunplay. Number 3. Iman Gert, Schindler's List Before he portrayed a Jew swept away by war, Fiennes convincingly played a heartless and calculating Nazi SS officer assigned to build and run a German concentration camp. Yeah, a drink? Or oh, something called Bola. Oscar Schindler befriends him in order to keep the officer's deadly suspicions at bay, but it only increases his worries. Fines brings history to life with terrifying malice and unthinkable cruelty, and earned an Oscar nomination in the process. Number 2. Count Laszlo Almashi, The English Patient Coming in a close second is Fines' role as a man so critically burnt he can only be identified by his accent. Might I have a sip of water? Set against the backdrop of World War II, the film sees a romance bloom between the English patient and the Canadian nurse who refuses to leave his side. Slowly but surely, the film reveals the character's past and proves that even while he's bandaged, Fines is an actor capable of earning himself an Academy Award nomination. Uh, the rest meant nothing to me. Number 1. Lord Voldemort, Harry Potter 
Taking top honors on our list is Fine's part as the Dark Lord and arch enemy of Harry Potter. You're a fool, Harry Potter. And you will lose. As this warped villain, he grips fans of all ages with his diabolical obsession with blood purity and conquering both the wizarding and muggle worlds. While the character was inspired by such real-life monsters as Hitler, you know who is brought to life by an actor who completely loses himself in the portrayal of this evil force. With so many terrific roles, we're sure we've missed a few. What's your favorite Ray Fiennes performance? Ah. I say. 